hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel it's a beaver here and today i am back with another spf review guys i know i've been gone for a while a little while but i am back so if you are new here do not forget to like share and subscribe i share all things relating to skincare natural hair academia and now even work related things so lifestyle generally so do subscribe to my channel and today i am going to be reviewing the bondi sands spf with a twist this time because i have the Woodra version and i also have the normal standard bondi sands that everyone has basically seen bondi sands spf were actually quite popular on twitter instagram even tiktok check out like my tiktok um highlight section for skincare to see like all the affordable spf that I reviewed basically on there. The reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people like to me, Aviva, yeah. A lot of these SPF that you're recommending, they're great, but they're not affordable. And since a lot of people actually watch my videos are like students as well, I do understand the need for like affordable SPF. So I bring forward to you the Bondi Sands SPF. I was quite interested because you know what? This is only seven pounds and it's an SPF that has no white cost. Listen, an SPF that's seven pounds, no white cost, and comes in a large bottle like this there was there was nothing i was faulting this is literally fragrance free very high protection so spf 50 before i get into the review i just want to show you like both of them side by side the normal spf and the hydra one and as the name suggests hydra meaning there's you know greater hydration in it i'll be applying it to one half and showing you like you know what my skin look like on one half and i'll be applying it to the other half but i'll get into the individual review now this is the bondi sands spf 50 and this is a very very hydrating spf this leaves no white cast literally the finish is so invincible like when i say no white cast i mean no white cast and the moment i applied it it literally sunk straight into my skin i know aloe vera and vitamin e is incorporated into this so hydration is there if you're someone with dry skin and you want an spf that will hydrate your skin this is literally it for you. Like the moment I applied it on, it really just sank straight into my skin. But the con I do have to say for this is if you do have oily skin, it might not be the best for you. And I think like the, I guess the condition really does matter. Like if it's in the winter and you tend to have drier skin in the winter, I definitely will recommend this. And you should also be wearing SPF in the winter too. I'm aware that, you know, we think the sun isn't out, but we still get uva and uvb rays so you should be wearing spf in the winter but this is definitely more dry skin friendly if you have oily skin like i do i would say be a bit wary of it but if you have dry skin it is the spf for you when i applied it onto my fingers and i rubbed it in it was nice it absorbed quickly but guys i definitely felt a lot oily i felt really really oily but if you have dry skin this will be just hydrating it gives you that really dewy look and also just makes your skin look so luscious which is what i really enjoyed from using this this is definitely going to be my go-to in the winter or just when i'm at home and i don't mind looking oily so i don't mind this at all and most importantly as well if you have like reactive skin if you have very sensitive skin this has no fragrance as well for seven pounds this is really well formulated you can find this on look fantastic feel unique super drug even in savers as well so it's quite like widely available so you can get it from a lot of stores but for me this is definitely a 7 8 out of 10 because again it's fast absorbing it's not the best in terms of protection but it does protect and it is affordable especially for students so definitely would give it you know around that mark yeah so to go into the second but most certainly not the least is this one the spf hydro 50 from bondi sands and honestly i really really enjoyed using this one as well as an oilier babe this definitely left me with less grease i still had that shine that you know shimmer to my skin but i wasn't oily this contains ethically sourced algae for hydration it's reef friendly cruelty free and also has a very good uva and uvb filter definitely do appreciate the fact that they did consider the ingredients when they do this and again this was super affordable this cost me about like eight pounds eight or nine pounds super affordable as well and one thing that i really enjoyed about this specifically is the fact that it's so hydrating without having that oily 
you know that oily residue that usually is left behind on your face it wasn't really oily as oily as the previous one anyway so i really enjoyed using this and this is actually plant-based as well i did think it was a lot thicker to apply on than the than the previous one the one with the yellow band across and i found that a bit surprising considering that this left a less oilier finish it was definitely a lot thicker hydration really is the focus on this one it's understandable why it's a lot thicker it was also thicker to rub in as well it took a not a while to get in but i just rubbed for a bit longer but again very much invincible finish and it applied really nicely on if you can see from like the picture i have the video i have on the side you can see the side by side like comparison of like both of them but it definitely both of them do leave like you know a really nice finish like invincible finish no white cast as what we love especially being of darker skin tone but i do feel like this is definitely the option for the oilier babes and this is for the base of like dry to combo skin if you have combination skin you can definitely like use both of them but for me i really like this but i'm not gonna bend this i still enjoy this as well i think the main pros generally is just the affordability how easy it is to access for both of them and the fact that you can still get spf protection you know whilst also you know saving money you have to mention that this can sting your eye i forgot to mention that but this definitely can sting your eye but this literally does not sting my eye at all which is why i also like use this more often but i think this is a lot harder to source and just comparing both of them i know that bondi sands does like a specific one for the face and i'm not turning it down but when i did read the ingredients they were both like the same thing the face and the body one which is why i obviously opted for like the bigger bottles because why would i pay money for like a smaller tub with like less it just didn't make sense so if you definitely wanted to buy one specifically for the face i would recommend in getting the one for the body instead because the ingredients are very similar but overall i think they're really nice products i think the finish is really good especially being darker skin again like it's really hard to find spf that's affordable with an invincible finish and no white cast but i really really did enjoy using both of this i did give this like a 7 8 out of 10 i definitely give this like eight eight and a half out of ten because they have no white cast and it's also great for oily skin but i would still definitely keep both of them both of them are keeps for me and you know shout out to bondi sands for you know making them and also i guess thinking about dark people with darker skin whilst making these products because having spf that just sinks into your skin is just beautiful with that being said that's that from me today let me know what you think about these spfs in the comment box below and as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe let me know what you'd like to see on my channel as well like i'm literally very much open for suggestion this is a space for exploration so definitely give me ideas i want to explore have fun and all those things that so see you in my next one bye